All right, we are joined period periodically by an RIT alum who's making a name in the tech world. Yeah, Katie Linendahl is a tech expert and Emmy Award winner who shares her expertise on a number of national news programs. This morning she's helping tackle this big question, laptop or tablet? Yeah, and uh, interesting answer to the question. I spoke to Katie by satellite last week. She even had a quick RIT story for us, which we love. Okay, I love this topic. I love things Good. that save time, <laughs> space, and money, and you got uh, some some things today that might actually do that. Customizable all-in-one devices. I love all-in-one because that means I have to buy fewer things down the road, right? That's exactly it, and I have to tell you, I when people here, I go to RIT, they ask me for computer advice <laughs> nonstop. So what I like to say is a huge bonus is if you can get that all-in-one device, to your point, you get all the features, all the bells and whistles in one unit, you save money. But also I encourage people to look for affordable units nowadays. The price of a PC has absolutely come down. And I want to showcase a few different models that make sense for any user, work or play. And let's start in the world of detachables, because one that I love is a ASUS Transformer T100. The key word here is transformer. It's a great for work and play and great for portability. And what I like about this is the keyboard attached. You can write documents. You can edit presentations. And you detach it, and you have that 10.1-inch touchscreen display, which we all love nowadays. Windows 8.1 tablet, Windows you're familiar with. It's going to be an entertainment center for you, customizable to your needs. And 11 hours of battery life, so it has you covered the full day. And here, Norma, is the kicker. 349 bucks for that price point. You do not need to spend thousands of dollars to have both a laptop and a tablet. That's incredible. So again, the ASUS Transformer T100, it's a really good deal for any kind of a user. I like that you've got these devices now. Okay, so there's one that's detachable. That's a, the, the transformer. But what I like are the devices that are, uh, you can touch the screen. So a device that almost looks like a laptop actually becomes a touch screen device, doesn't it? Yeah, totally. And I know you're going to like this one, too, because I'm giving you kind of like a range of options here. Okay. This one is actually called the Yoga, and I think this is cool because a lot of people haven't seen anything like this. It actually bends and twists. You probably think I was breaking this laptop. Oh, wow. It goes into four different modes and 11.6-inch or uh, display, and what's nice about it, it has Dolby surround speakers, so you know that from the movie theaters. It's great quality, but also, you know... With the Yoga, you have a 720p HD webcam, just over three pounds, Intel i5 processor. I know that sounds totally nerdy, but we do not want to see any timeouts here. You don't want to have any buffering happening. This is going to work at the power and speed that you need for only 750 bucks. And again, goes into tent mode, stand mode, tablet mode, and laptop mode with that 11.6 inch multi-touch display that's going to be easy for all kinds of users in the home. And just to give you another, just in more inexpensive, affordable sure. option, a lot of people just need tablets these days. If you you want Skype if you want. My mom is a perfect example. She's a grandma. She likes Skype at night. She likes to go on Pinterest at night. She just likes to have her email access. She likes to have internet access. You do not need to spend hundreds of dollars to have a great tablet, not, especially not thousands. This is a Toshiba Encore, and it starts at just $299. It fits easily into one hand, ultra portable. I like to call this pocket sized. Windows 8.1, front and rear facing cameras. And again, I think, you know, at that price point of $299, wow. you really can't beat it. And great for everybody in the family, too. You know, I, I've been kind of uh, rough with this little guy. I've thrown it in my bag, and I don't encourage you to do that with any computing device, but it is nice to know that you can kind of, you know, Take this around at night yeah. if you just want to read books. You just kind of be a little rough with it. It's nice to have for a $300 computing option. That's incredible. You know, a lot of times, I remember uh, this, this Christmas, you know, the whole debate was tablet versus laptop. I mean, it was, a, you know, or, or desktop or whatever. It was what type of computing device. Mm -hmm. It seems like with some of this, you can get it all uh, in the same device, and you're not having to buy three separate things or two separate things. Exactly, and it's all about affordability. Again, we're starting at price points of $300 as opposed to $3,000. I think that's huge. And a lot of people always ask me, too, again, we talk about how I went to RIT, and they're like, oh, my gosh, so for the whole family, what's a really great computing option? And I have to tell the story. One day at RIT, you know, this is years ago when I was getting my degree in IT, I saw, I looked out my window of my dorm room, and I saw this kid carrying this tower desktop, <laughs> and I felt so bad for him. You know how cold it is, and he's carrying this. The quarter mile, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed for you, dude. 
This is what a desktop looks like nowadays. Oh, like this to gosh. me is unbelievable. Desktops are five pounds and we talk about families and what can you get for the entire family that they can put in the living room. Look at that. This sucker here, and you gotta write these names down, it's a Dell XPS 18. It's the world's thinnest and most portable desktop. And again, talk about powerful. If you don't trust me on this, go on the reviews online. They're absolutely incredible. But you can actually carry this with you and travel this with you anywhere that you go. 18.4 inch HD touch display, 500 gig hard Hard drive, four gigs of RAM. You can store up to 100 HD movies on this sucker. Intel processing speed behind the scenes and under $900. So it's amazing too to be in wow. this field of technology and just over the years coming down on price point, coming down on affordability and, and just really coming down in size too. Again, sure. that poor guy on the quarter mile, if he only had this sucker <laughs> a few years ago, he'd have loved it. He would have looked so <laughs> cool carrying that instead of the big clunky la uh, exactly, desktop. Exactly, with the soft rip. I yeah, know, walking right? down. Oh, Katie, thank you so much. It's so great to talk to you, and I love that you always like to share thank the fact you. that you went to RIT. You're proud of it, and uh, we certainly love to hear about homegrown talent uh, doing well elsewhere. Thank you so much, Katie.